Okay. Um, I will head into the airport. You head into the airport. It's the middle of the night, um, but obviously there are flights of all hours, so the airport is open. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and uh, you, you know, you you walk along. Um, it's mostly abandoned. There's some people for clearly for late flights. People on transitioning flights and whatever. Um, but you know, you, you need to you need like a ticket or something to get past. There's there's a there's a you know there are checkpoints and. Uh, it's been a really long time since I've ever been to an airport, so you know, put an airport into your, um, into your mind, and I guess technically you complete an obsession. Um, so there's a test for control. Uh, oh, he completed a. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna go with the uh, old reliable. <laughs> what are you giggling about? Then, Mr. No, I'm not. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. <sighs> I don't understand your character's obsession there, Kyle. I really don't. He just wanted uh, to get any sort of money. Like, mine? No, no. Jacob's is the one that. Oh, Jacob's. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand yours, man. Jacob, you're muted. This thing mutes itself when it when the mic's up. No, oh, that yeah. What well, are you, what are you saying? The thing's kind of went out of control. I didn't expect it to to get like that. Hey man, <laughs> everyone is John. That's what happens. <laughs> Every time I played this game, somebody has gotten the cops called on us and gotten to a shootout. <laughs> I yeah, thought I was playing was a pretty easy character to do, but uh, apparently Wreckage doesn't want to roleplay with me sexy time, so... <laughs> well, uh, you were just a propositioning people where you weren't supposed to be in the middle of them sleeping. You have to, you know, context clues. Yeah. Uh, anyway, well, I need a d20 roll-off between Caleb and Dave. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, Dave, how many do you have? You have, like, two no, left. No. <laughs> Well, and Dave started out at zero. Um, you sort of flutter into consciousness. Your hands are handcuffed in a coat. Um, hey, you're in an airport. Uh, you know, it's quiet. It's it's the middle. It's you know, it's the sun's starting to break. It's starting to pick up a little bit of activity, but it's mostly the people on sort of transitioning flights and et cetera. All right. Um, I want to look around. Different from the makeout session that he was just like, from his first session, he was just in. Yeah, that's true. yeah. You you were just like you just got done doing a makeout sesh, and now you're handcuffed, wearing random <laughs> clothes in an airport. Oh, I don't want to know. Handcuff- you're clearly handcuffed, but you're also your handcuffs are hidden in uh, a coat. I don't want to know where he's going to go with this. Um, I, I I look a little surprised. Okay. So, um, oh, is there any like uh, really tired people around me at all? Like, cause I assume it's like. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, there are some people who have. Like uh, yeah, there are some people who have been forced, unfortunately, to spend the night in the airport, um, and they're you know milling about in waiting areas, etc. I want to go sit next to one, even if there's open seats. You sit next to one. Um, they don't notice you. I, w- I want to lean over and say, "Hello, my name is Eduardo. <laughs> what is your name?" What? Who are you? I just you? said my name is Eduardo. <clears throat> Hi, Eduardo. Do you need help? Uh, I don't work here. That's all right. I'm just looking for companionship, you see. I've been here quite a while. And the longer I stay yeah, here, I swear to God, I'm going to go crazy. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I get that, Eduardo. I, I can see where you're coming from. Whereabouts would you be traveling to today? I'm heading back to New York. Oh, family? No, business. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, business is is the seed of everyone's comings and goings. I seem to find here. By the way, is he talking to a dude or a chick? Yeah. Uh, did you specify who you sat next to? I I just heard no. anyone. I just said anyone as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you said anyone, it's a dude. Okay. No. Okay. Did not specify a female. Uh, what is he wearing? Uh, he's clearly wearing uh business clothes. Like a um, like a suit. 
Well, the suit is off and uh, his tie is off, but it's, you know, he's he's, he's he has a button down man. and the slacks. Yeah, yeah he's he's got what could assemble into a nice suit, but it's clearly undone for the purpose of leisure at this point. I uh, um, I hate to trouble you, my uh, friend, but would you like to join me for a drink? Maybe we can uh, waste away the hours a little quicker. Nah, man, I don't think I should be drinking. As a matter of fact, uh, I don't. Um, you can. Do you want to do a persuade roll? But he's he's sort of trailing off into reasons why he shouldn't go to the airport bar with you. Who doesn't like Eduardo? Uh, yeah. Um, well, what the fuck? It's been a few hours. Um, fantastic friend. Do you? Uh, uh, let us go to the closest one. That seems the most appropriate. All right. Uh, yeah, so you go straight. I mean, there's an airport bar, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's being tended by an airport bar guy. Is my um, hands in the sleeves? Like, how is this going to happen? It's You're just hidden entirely in the coat, and he hasn't noticed yet. Okay. Um, yeah. There's a reason why he hasn't noticed, but I can't share it with you. Um, okay. He's blind. <laughs> free, free, free. Everyone's been blind this whole time except for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> Five spoopy <laughs> for me. Uh, anyway, yeah, you get to the airport bar. Um, and he's like, well, well, pick your poison, he says. What do you want? I'm, I'll buy. Ooh, thank you, friend. I appreciate it. Uh, I will have a double shot whiskey with a straw. <laughs> <laughs> On the rocks, if you please. I like it. I like it a little warm. <laughs> yeah, he orders that for you, and he gets himself, you know, I don't know, some hard, boring drink, like just straight scotch or something. I don't know. I don't know anything about alcohol either. Um, meat. So, so try, meat. try to keep your, try to keep it's all of the stuff. games involving me away from uh, substance use, because I won't be able to properly uh, explain or extrapolate upon it. Anyway, you drink alcohol um, together. Does he also mm -hmm. drink alcohol? Yes, he does, Hemlock. I, uh, um, I wish to have an engaging conversation about him and uh, about what he does. And I want to listen to every word. Maybe, maybe talk about uh, his job and his likes and dislikes and if he has any extended family. And, and basically, I want, to, I want to basically hang off his every word, if at all possible. Uh, By the way, all this and more is possible. All right. Um, you hang off his every word, and he clearly has been waiting for. He unloads perhaps too much information after after a while, um, because uh, he's a repressed uh, victim. Uh, yes, Hamlock, you do. Congratulations. Right. Thank you. Um, uh, he hangs off your every word because he's a repressed and uh, emotionally beaten victim of the capitalist society of America. Um, the nine to five has destroyed his inner soul. Mm -hmm. And now, as a complete stranger in an airport, is his only recourse before breaking the breaking point of his sanity. Uh, um, I, I, then I'll turn around and say, "Friend, it sounds like you need love in your life." Ah, eh, well, you know, the wife and you know, never see her business. Uh, uh, rah, 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 rah. You know, he just sort of doesn't. He sort of glazes over that to that topic. It's it clearly a point of some contention for him. It sounds like uh, you are not on. Uh, well grounds with your lady. I want to talk about it. You know, business, work. You know, I she understand, wants friend. Kids and fucking... Ah. Perhaps I can further take your mind off of her. Okay, first of all, <laughs> I'm going to do a secret GM roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, high or low... Dave. Oh, we're going high, man. High. It is high. So it turns out he is bisexual. So you at least have a chance. <laughs> um, uh, his bisexuality is somewhat repressed by his uh, uh, very typical, normal uh, 9 to 5 job that requires him to be a typical, normal American. Mm. Um, however, uh, how, how really are you going to approach this, Dave? How are you going to How are you going to try and segue this? How far you want to go? We're gonna go all the way, man. Okay, but how way. are you going to do it? Uh, um, I, I, maybe, maybe I, I wait for his response to see on how 
I can take his mind off of his wife. Ah, uh, you know, man, just drinking and fucking, you know, my flight will be here in a little while, I'm sure. And then well, just... perhaps uh, we can. How how do you Americans say? Uh, spend uh, quality time. What we we are? We're drinking. Uh, I mean, but... I mean something, something a little more uh, personal. If you if you know what I mean. Uh, I like wiggle my eyebrows at him. I'm like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, give me a persuade roll at this point. Um, Another one. All right. <clears throat> Well, you persuaded him to get a drink, but now you're trying to get him to do things with you. I failed. Um, I'll, uh, I'll borrow your sweet guy and all, and then just trails off as you blink into unconsciousness, and there's a test for control. <laughs> Someone put down some betting real forcefully there. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb. Of course. You are at an airport bar. Um... And uh, you... <laughs> everyone's bar is completely depleted except for Caleb's. <laughs> well, no, actually, you still technically have two, and uh, Jacob still has one. No, well, I one. mean, and... yeah, technically, but oh, I didn't like... even realize there was like icons down here. Yeah, cool. yeah, huh, look at that. I've been keeping track of it this whole time. Mm. I mean, typically there's a second game of everyone is John, but as is typical with Die Party, you fuckers took. <laughs> a yeah, man, like I'm like I'm like screaming through Eduardo shit, and you guys are like. Um, um, can I take over <laughs> his uh, wallet with my face? I was like, oh man. I don't yeah, know. Okay. I mean, so <laughs> I'm gonna anyway, the bar yeah, I made the most. Any whore. Yeah, well, any some guy's talking to you about not being r into strangers, um, and uh, but uh, yeah, you I'm, just, I'm just get up and walk, walk away. away. Yeah. <laughs> as, as you get up and walk away, uh, the businessman who, whose name was uh, Jackson, um, he feels a fleeting moment of pain and regret for how he's wounded the only man to listen to him. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he, fe he feels like he's an offended a, a strange European who didn't understand sort of American, uh, you know, holdups on sexuality. And, uh, you know, years from now, uh, in, in an attempt to, to make up for this, this mistake, he goes on a, a Euro trip tour um, and to blows a guy that. in a Swedish bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and really, his life just downward spirals from there. He quits his job and uh, wait, downward gets, or upward? Come on. Yeah, well, it depends on how you, he quits his job in America and gets into <clears throat> uh, sort of the Euro club scene, um, and, and way, way goes way overboard with uh, with uh, men. Um, he's been bisexual, but he, he sort of tries to compensate for all the missed years. Uh, and, you know, he never really gets back into a normal life before eventually being uh, stabbed in a bar over a uh, dispute on cocaine uh, about about 15 years from now in uh, wow. you know, tiny. Jesus. All, all, all because Eduardo gave him, like, furious fat material. Damn. <laughs> um, okay. Edwada, so anyway, you, you walk away from the bar. Yeah, walk away. a man's life, but you don't know it. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I want to look for an employees-only area. Yeah, you can see one. Um, yeah. Is there anyone around it? It's employee, employees only. It's just anyone around it? No, I'll just, I'll just go into it. Uh, it's locked. Hmm. Are there any keys lying around? By chance? The keys are in the. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> They're underneath the doormat, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Have you never played with wreckage before? You can make this shit up, man. <laughs> okay. All right. um, are there any planes currently boarding? Uh, yeah, there's one that's going to be boarding in a couple minutes, or has started boarding, but it's a night, so you know they're not they're not urgent about it. Um, and there's only a few people getting on. Okay, I'm gonna head over in that direction and. You know, keep an eye out, see what I see. All right, before you get to the boarding area, you get stopped by the TSA. Um, you know, it's the night shift. They're sort of groggy-eyed um, and uninterested in their job, uh, and you're not a woman, so they're not interested in fondling you. 
Um, like, sir, you gotta, you know, take your shoes off and put your possessions and metal things in the tray, and we gotta scan you with the body scanner and, you know, all that crap. Um, I'm gonna look him straight in the eyes and say, no, no, I work here, I'm a pilot. <clears throat> I'm gonna spend, uh, two willpower. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you can spend two, well, actually, you automatically succeed. I do? Because um, I'm gonna say that you're, uh, you're, you're, talent oh. lies. Oh, I forgot that was a thing. Um, I'll spend one then, if that's fine. Well, then only a one will be a failure on this roll. Okay. No, I'm one. And one. Yes! Yep. <laughs> Come on! Of course. I'll Come let you on. take back not spending two willpower. No, don't. <laughs> okay. Uh. All right. There we go. I'm not going <laughs> to. Uh, I knew it was going to be a one. Power, you automatically succeeded. Um, Burr. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you gotta throw yeah. him a bone at some point. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um... Oh, he's like, oh, sorry, sir, I didn't uh, recognize you a little sleepy. Yeah, you kind of... Yeah, all right, go on, go ahead, sorry. Um, I, I stop and say, uh, I left my uh, uniform at home, though. Um, do we have any spare ones around here? Well, I think there might be some in the em employee's locker room. Hold on a sec. Uh, <clears throat> and he goes over to the employee's only door and opens it and... Uh, there's a locker room on the other side. He's like, take a look, but hurry up. Your plane's leaving. Okay, thank you, thank you. So I'm going to go over there. <laughs> I am the pilot with no arms. <laughs> I forgot to dress myself this morning. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, so is there any... Uh, so there's just lockers, basically. Um, yeah, nothing there's lying around or anything? Yep. Uh, okay. There's just lockers. Um, but they're not like super secure. They're just the kind where you you pull up on the thing and it opens. Because mm -hmm. this is already past the employees only. They don't expect employees to be okay. stealing. Did he other. did he come in with me or am I in there alone? No, you're in there alone. Okay, I'm just gonna start opening lockers and see what I find. Um, yeah, you um you don't find full sets of clothing, but in several lockers you find sort of this uh, coat. That uh, is like a like an employee of this airport type coat, like mm -hmm. like it says Northwest Delta or something on the on the breast, and is mostly just like a windbreaker, a company employee coat type thing. Um, yeah. and that's about okay. as, as uh, that's what you find mostly. I'll, I'll toss that on. All right, you toss that on. Um, okay. And uh, you you can put that on. You can replace the other coat that's hiding. You can replace that <sighs> with that coat. Are there any sunglasses lying around? Uh, yeah, one of the lockers has sunglasses. Okay, I need to grab a pair of sunglasses. All right, you put that on beforehand. You're wearing sunglasses and oh, that boy. coat. Okay. Um, and um, uh, so, are you trying to be Green Lantern? Or? Does that complete my second one then? Um. Uh, <laughs> yes, you okay. complete your second one. Um. Which means there's a test for control. All right, I'm gonna. Right. Wait, don't you have none? Hang on, I'm gonna send him my bit. It's good right. job. Thanks, man. <laughs> he could still technically take control with a bit of zero, if everybody else bids zero. All right, uh, Hemlock, Caleb, and Jacob all need to roll one d twenty to see who. Mm -hmm, we all bet one. <laughs> Caleb is not gonna take control. Yes. Uh, Jacob. That's about right. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> uh, at you're not zero willpower, but you are in a locker room, and you're wearing sunglasses, and your hands are handcuffed in your coat. Um, you suspect that the police thing didn't go well, um, being handcuffed in your in your coat, uh, and uh, you don't really know where you are. All right. So, hmm, would I? Well, obviously I'm. Ha I don't think I want to be, stay handcuffed. I want to try right. to get those off. Okay, how are you going to do it? Why don't we try picking that lock? All right, you can pick the lock with the stuff that you find in the lock fix. Your skill applies. However, uh, if you don't get a three or higher, you're out of willpower. And um, hey, yeah. so you got to hope a for a three or a... higher. Just, I mean, your skill applies. Let's, let's be honest. After trying to do the, uh, I'm trying to do the lock pick the ATM with my dick thing. Yeah. I don't think I care anymore. Hey! hey! You are now 
the handcuffs, so you slip your hands through the coat proper. You're actually oh. wearing a piece of clothing now. Um, right. And you're, you're unhandcuffed. Your hands are free. You are, you are a, a functioning human being again. Congratulations. Hooray. Woo. All right, so wearing, sun, wearing sunglasses. I'm not handcuffed anymore. Uh -huh. uh, was I wearing the uh, pilot's jacket thing still? It, it says Northwest Delta. It doesn't say pilot, but it does oh, say... Oh, you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, you can figure out that, especially with all the other Northwest Delta coats in the locker room, you can figure yeah, out I'm you're probably in the locker room at the airport. What am I doing here? Ugh, whatever. So, um, <clears throat> well, anything? Is there anything of note in any of the lockers still, or n do have a, is it just a bunch of jackets? Uh, I mean, some ch chintzy personal belongings, nothing of value or oh. significance. I'll throw, I'll uh, lift some of those. Uh, okay, you lift some of those. Uh, but it doesn't count for your level one. Damn. Because it's yeah. Not specifically the type of, of robbery that you. Yeah, yeah, interested. I know. But you do lift it. I mean, you're a compulsive thief, so of course you steal yeah. all these like personal photos of family, daughters. Uh, you steal. Um, yeah, these are. This is all my extended family. You take, you know, uh, a picture of a guy's uh, ex girlfriend who died of cancer, and that's the only picture he has left of her. But I mean, you don't know that. Um, I don't care. No, you don't. Um, and so um, you 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 take a bunch of personal belongings from these lockers. All right, so all right, I've lifted all that shit. So let's see here. I'm gonna. Um, I just go out the go out the employee door back to the. Uh, uh, I don't know where it goes, but I'm guessing I'm going. You to go, go through the there. only door there is, and you're out into a airport lobby. There are all yep. the things that you find in an airport in this airport. Interesting. <clears throat> all right. I mean, he doesn't know this, but he essentially has a pass to anywhere in the airport now. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't know that he's disguised as an airport employee, but he totally is. Even though I know I, even though it looks like I am. Uh, I mean, you get that you're wearing a coat. You don't yeah. know that you convinced people you are an employee. Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna um. Let's see. <laughs> Fuck it. Might might as well pass. Might as well um pass by the security guys and um. Eh, go up to uh what's that place called before, right before the plane? The um terminal. Terminal. Yeah, I'll, I might as well go to the terminal. Okay, you're in the terminal. All right. Who is it? Is how many people are there? Uh, oh, everyone's already boarded this plane, so there's no one but the attendant on the outside, who's tending the desk where you just right. where you board. Well, there's nobody out here except for her. I'm just in um. I guess I'm gonna start trying to board the plane, but before before I board, um, I'm going to try and basically do one swift motion, just kind of um, kind of pit, almost pit park, basically pit park here. Okay. Um, your one skill will apply, um, but um, I'm gonna give you minus one because uh, there's nobody else know. around. Yeah, there's nobody else around, and it's really weird for you to sort of, like, move close to her desk as you pass her. Um, All right. So you have to get a four or higher. Nope. One. Um, your hand just ends up in her blouse, basically, on accident. Um, oh, this seems uh, like a great part for Eduardo to come in, but... Is that, is that like, a plus one for me? Like, what's going on here now? <laughs> <laughs> See All right. Test for control um, as, as between, Jacob accidentally Between me and slips. Caleb, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All right, roll. Yeah, roll a one d twenty. Um. Uh. Yes. Oh. Ow, Caleb, you no, take control. No, he's gonna win. Um. You're... Judy, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> My God, sir, as you get slapped across the face, um, by this airport girl attendant, uh, you notice you're no longer handcuffed, and your hand was on her breast, um. Oh, and you're yeah, just about to board the the plane. I stand up straight and say, oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I, I need to get on the plane. I, I trip. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And, and well, I, I never tripped my... You pilots are all the same. You know, I'm not some stewardess floozy uh, here <laughs> to uh, keep you company on your long international flights. She's just going <laughs> off and ranting on you. Uh, so I'm just going to walk down the terminal. Yeah, you get paid a lot. Get on the plane. 
<laughs> Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you get on the plane just fine, actually. Um, okay. And uh, one of the stewards says, can I help you, sir? Oh, yeah. I just need to head towards the cockpit. I'm one of the pilots. Oh, really? I was told that we only had one pilot on this uh, flight. Oh, corporate decided that we needed a co-pilot for this flight. Oh, yeah, well, that makes sense. Uh, all right, I'll let the pilot know. She knocks on the door. He's like, oh, I think you got a co-pilot. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, the door opens up because now you have to have a door and you have to, like, secret knock because of terrorism. Mm -hmm. um, good tourists. Uh, freedom. Uh, oil. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, so you pass into the, the mm -hmm. cockpit. He's like, oh, uh, I've never seen you before. Uh, uh, there's a co-pilot on this flight? Yeah, yeah. Corporate decided that the... Probably should have someone on here since it's a night play. Well, that sounds like a scheduling error to me, but you know it's none of my business. As long as as long as I still get paid. Okay, um, I'll just sit down in the co-pilot seat and we can get started. Yeah, 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 sure thing, whatever. Uh, uh, well, I've already gone through pre-flight checks, uh, and we're we're ready to take off at at any moment. Okay, I'll I'll sit down and get ready to help take off then. Oh, uh, no, no need, no need, no need. I I got I got this. Uh, he's uh already sort of, you know, the turbines are already up spinning and you're already taxiing off of the terminal into the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the takeoff place. Quick question. Okay. Well, I'll sit down. Quick question, Jacob. At least. Yes. What, what's your quick question? No, I didn't say quick question. Oh, I thought you said ah. quick question. No. No, I What'd said quick say? crash it. Oh, quick <laughs> crash it. Okay. Um, anyway, What's that jacket? Yeah. No. He's handling the takeoff just fine. Um, uh, you're taxiing. <laughs> you know, you're you're heading towards the place where you will take off. You're not quite there yet. Okay. I will wait for takeoff. There's okay. Only one way um, I can win this now, and I know exactly how I'm gonna try. Uh, oh. Oh Jesus! How are you gonna win this? And... <laughs> um, I mean, I'm long. I'm lo I've been long now. The running. Uh, I don't know. Caleb's got uh, you know, quite a lead on you, Hemlock. Um, or he's potentially got quite a lead on you if he can figure out how to complete his obsession in this scenario. So, takeoff is currently happening. The plane is heading, um, is gaining speed, and it's slowly rising, uh, and etc. Okay. And you're just chilling in the, co the cockpit or the, the co just, uh, seat. Try to start up a conversation with the uh, other pilot. What uh, are you asking? How? how he's doing? And how's it going? Oh not. well, you know, night shift, night flight, early morning flight. Uh, you know, as long as I get paid a little extra, I don't give a shit. But god damn it, um, you know, it's a real pain in the ass waking up so early, getting down to the airport in time. I understand why you were kind of late. I can understand why there'd be a scheduling error on a flight like this. It's big bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. You mind if I take over for a bit? Ah, uh, well, you know, you know, any reason? I mean, I got this, got this, uh, pretty much, you know, locked in. Nah, I'm just getting a little bored. I like having something to do. Well, you know, you and me both, uh, you know, uh, rock, paper, scissors you for it. Oh, sure. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm gonna roll a 1d3, and you're gonna roll a 1d3, and a 1 beats a 2, a 2 beats a 3, and a 3 beats a 1. Okay, so I'm rolling it secretly to you after you roll it yourself, right? No, just roll them openly because okay. just like a real game of... So you need a I mean, two. Okay, yeah, I forgot. It's random, yeah. A one beats a two, two beats a three. If you get a three, you get to pilot. All right, no, tie. Oh, okay. bloody hell. You roll again. Okay, roll again. One beats a two, so you... Uh, oh, God damn it! you put down scissors, I put down paper, <laughs> uh, God blast and sarn it. Uh, I just imagine the plane's like going up in the air, and then it's like, <laughs> rock, paper, two. And then, and then it's like, and the plane's like going. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he lets you take over, um, but now in order to complete your success obsession successfully, you actually have to successfully roll a 1d6 to pilot the plane. You have the skill relevant. So you I'm only need a three or higher. PowerPoint. You're gonna spend your last level, so you only need a two or higher, and you get a one. Come on, uh, one! Damn it! No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, just get. Uh, you get high <laughs> enough. Um, yeah, the plane successfully cruises. All right. Uh, William. And I he's like, ah, well, I guess I'm gonna go use the bathroom or something. He says. 
um, just as you black out into unconsciousness and there's a test for control. Um, <laughs> only Hemlock can take control uh, in this scenario unless Hemlock, you actually know it's not true. Hemlock, everyone can bid zero, and if Hemlock bids zero, then you just roll the dice to see who gets in control. So, Hemlock, you have to bid something in order to take definite control.